this is lecture 2 in learning electrical motors and this is about back EMFs. Let's look into what back EMF is all about. In the previous lecture we have learned the motor principle. It said that whenever a current carrying conductor, the armature conductor in case of a motor is placed in a magnetic field, the rotation of the conductor will happen as per Fleming's left hand rule. And this was the motor principle and it was shown in the previous lecture that the conductor moved in anti-clockwise direction. Each of the conductor in the armature experienced a force which set up a torque which made the motor to rotate and there is also a principle which is known as generator principle which is the operating principle of generator it works on the Fleming's right hand rule it says that whenever a conductor cuts magnetic field the current will be induced in the conductor as in case of a motor so this is what Fleming's left hand rule is all about as you can see if your middle finger points in the direction of the current and the index finger in the direction of the field then the motion will always happen in the direction of the thumb that was the motor principle so when you, you saw a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field the current direction is given by the middle finger and the field that is the field from north to south pole was given by your index finger and the rotation of the conductor was happening in a top direction or the force on each conductor was exerted in the top direction and again in the last video you saw that it was resulting in a torque in the armature where each conductor was moving in anti-clockwise direction so that was all about motor if you look into generator in a generator there is a field and there is motion the rotor or rotor of the or the armature is rotated from a prime mover it can be a generate it can be a steam generator steam engine or it can be a motor that rotates the armature and there is a field produced by the field magnets in case of a generator and there's motion and there's field and the direction of the current or the emf is given by the middle finger in this case this is how the mode generator works so it can be uh, said that emf will be also induced in a motor according to the right hand rule although it's a motor the generator principle will act on the motor because each conductor carries current and each conductor carries motion which is happening due to the motor principle and there is field induced by the field magnets so some emf should be induced even in motors and this emf which is induced in motors are known as back emf and this back emf is always opposite to the supply voltage or it will oppose the voltage which produces the motion so in a way it will oppose the motion and it will be opposite to the supply voltage and you can again generalize that if ia is the armature this is again what looking into the diagram and you can generalize that ia is the armature current eb is a back emf then ia into eb this will be the extra power that the armature will have to overcome to maintain the speed of rotation or to keep the torque same so the armature current can be given as v minus back emf divided by the resistance of armature so again you can see that the back emf is opposite to the supply voltage and it will define or it will govern the armature current that is armature current is the supply voltage minus back emf divided by the resistance of the armature so the more the back emf the less the armature current the less the back emf there will be more armature current again the back emf is given as the emf equation of generator as phi z n divided by p a where phi is the flux plug per pole z is the number of armature conductors and n is the rotation of the speed of rotation of the armature or the motor and p is the number of poles and a is the number of parallel paths it seems that as the speed will decrease the back emf will de decrease and if the back emf will decrease then the armature current will increase so it will again cause the torque to increase so that the speed will increase so in a way it will govern the torque and speed of the motor so back emf is a necessary phenomena which helps to govern or regulate the torque and keep the speed constant so that's all if you like this video please do subscribe like and comment